Looks like something's supposed to roll on this. I think I see how this works. The claw's on one side, and if we get this unstuck... stuck under that rock that was careless yes sir sorry sir <laughs> stop but maybe we can find our way up through there after you know getting rid of those things Well, that's not going anywhere. We'll need something to get through this one. That's a good idea. We might snap the rope. Giants not only climbed the mountain, but actually lived here. Read it. Yes, sir. We need to free the rope from under the mess you created up there, boy. 
Maybe there's a way up there through that passage that opened. We will see. Traps. There's a tunnel, but you won't fit. Take it. Okay. I see that.
there's a way through that big gate up there? Something special about them. I can feel it. If it is not useful, leave it alone. I know.
off now. I think it's up ahead. <laughs> Give us the way to the top.
Oh, there it goes again. You've been able to freeze gears with your axe before. What about the ones next to the rope? Here? That should hold it. We don't have to leave. I'm sure we can figure this out. all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is, and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Not the top, but we're closer. There's a note, a giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them, to guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. Watch. them to watch our mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come, boy. It is a long way up. Careful.
That is not helping. See you on the other side. be as long away as <laughs> Summon. How far do you think we'll be able to see? The lake? The world serpent? Our house? We will see when we get there. Until then, eyes open. Whoa! Atreus! I'm fine. Just lost my balance for a moment. You know, for someone so strong, you sure worry a lot. It serves me well, and how I keep us alive. I guess. Not a terribly fun way to live, though.
was that for fun? I get it. I should worry more. Is this where we get off? No, we are stuck. I think part of the lift is stuck in that wall. Can you get it free? Where do we have to go? I do not know. Think we'll get attacked again? Definitely. Oh boy. Yes. Now be ready. is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your training. Okay. Is that its sap? Crystallized sap. And there is power inside. Incredible! I can't 
can't believe we fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the Everest thin here. No more questions. Oh, yes. I see. Do you hear that? Sounds like someone's screaming. Wait, boy. It's Sindri. Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you.
plan. Be ready to lower the crane on my mark. I do not care. Be ready. We did it. And you! Ah! But, 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me, and that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows, straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And uptight. Fussy! I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait! I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Doesn't look like it's working. Yeah, I am not touching that. Just. Hold it out. <laughs> now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, uh, gently, now. Whoa. Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Uh, 
Um, oh, how do I explain this? I've added a new vibrating pattern to the bowstring the fiber, aiming it at the... Oh, I see. You figured it out on your own then. Just, never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No. It was like it wasn't Anything that long you? ago we were hunting deer. Nope. Now we fought dark elves, trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined. Disciplined. Not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure. I know. It's just... It feels good to be strong. You know? Yes. I know. Stuck. Wonder if there's another crystal around we could use on those roots. There we go. Want me to shatter it? Oh, I'm gonna like this. Strange though. That one didn't completely blow up. That crystal, I shot it once. It's going again. Looks like we got them all. Ugh! <laughs> 
find a way to lower that bridge. That has to be the way out of here. Another one here. This one's called Emir. Mother tried to tell me this one, but I think I was too young. Are giants coming out of his armpits? I think that might be Odin stabbing him. What's that? I will never get tired of shattering things with this. going in the journal. Not long now, Mom. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. A broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Steady, boy. Mind your footing. Ready yourself, boy! 
There must be some way out. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. Not company this time. It must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we are we really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Well, we took their path. Make sure we're all alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. 
No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the Giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a Giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jotunheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? And Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body through these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Wouldn't himself cease to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Uh, so you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. to find the long-lost realm of the Giants. That's... that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. So this is the bridge to Yotunheim? This looks like those weird doors we've seen. I guess Mimir will help us figure it all out. If we can bring him back to life. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. Hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Mimir back. He seemed nice. Before you cut off his head.
Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer god. Balder. And you fought him. And won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgar, except for the serpent. But maybe the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about My them? kind? I mean, your family. Before mother. Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. We jump. Really? Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No prep. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> Along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean hey, that- do you mind? I'm trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break. You got a fine deal there.
what you need. What's it gonna be? We were dead from a distance. The other three. And don't be letting that spit pister of a brother of mine lay hands on it again. Well, what else were we talking about? Yep. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. Statue of Thor. What else were you going to tell me about war? Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. Some statue. Who built it, you think? I do not know. The serpent rose. Right. I knew that. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay.
Witch's turtle must be standing up. So how do we get back up there? <laughs> she must have some way of getting back to the surface when the turtle's standing. Keep looking. Hey, this does more than decipher those Muspelheim runes. It also contains the travel room. Should we visit the fire room? Turn back Aesir. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie. Can you read it? 
Yes, sir. Death to the Raven God, Lord of the Hang. Read it. Save their neat themes upon all who trespass. Another one of those sandals. What does it say? Falcon, hawk, and turtle dove. Swim aloft in oceans above. Those runes on the rock. They don't spell anything. It's gibberish. Want me to read this one? Father, she is here! It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me, now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Malin. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. Let me see him. Mamir, you there? Yes. Good. Uh, oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. <sighs> Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are god. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. 
We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The world serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. Who do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. Face. No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hey, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! I put my lips to... That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You envy me. I've still got it, lads. He remembers me. Why you? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. 
What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. I can read what this says now, but it's a name. Air! Whoa! The name made it light up! It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. get to the boat, we can either look to that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <clears throat> Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. You who walks among the living... My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no... Really? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Boy. They've taken three of sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Ready yourself.
Lovers without her spirit. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out look while we... Look if you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, the quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, BOOM! struck his son. Rimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person who didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Beast, we will take him down together. Almost there. Seek a chisel. The tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. That big crystal on the giant's ring is <laughs> promising. seem to do anything. Oh, neat trick, lad. Thanks. His idea. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final <laughs> breath closed <laughs> everything. We'll need something to get through this one. Atreus, to me!
is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Enemies. On your mark. 